friends of mine. Rabbits, that's right. Br'er rabbit, or the cottontail, or wild bunnies, if you want to call them that. When I was a boy on the farm, I used to shoot rabbits, and also when I was a boy on the farm, I used to raise uh, tame rabbits. Oh, everybody knows about rabbits. I guess you remember the nursery rhyme. Bye, baby bunting, father's gonna hunting. Get a little rabbit skin to wrap his baby bunting in. The skin is good, of course. The fur is pretty. Uh, the only thing is it isn't very durable, but it is valuable in industry. Now the snows are disappearing and spring coming along, and in the spring, a young man's fancy lightly turns to thoughts of love. Well, that goes for the rabbits, too, and the rabbits are looking about for a home in which to raise their young. Usually, it's done in uh, holes in the ground. Around my neighborhood, the rabbits are a little lazy about uh, digging their own underground uh, homes. They just take up the abandoned homes of woodchucks or some other animals. But uh, rabbits are good diggers when they apply themselves to it, as you can see right here. There's that chap using his front paws as a bulldozer. Incidentally, this digging under the roots of a tree is a good idea. It strengthens uh, the roof of a ground home. The uh, roots of the tree act as beams. There are always uh, two and sometimes three, four, five, six, or seven uh, entrances and exits to a rabbit's underground home. Here we're looking at the, uh, the living room, you might call it, the main chamber. And there's a hole directly above. I would call that the bolt hole. That's uh, where the uh, rabbit could bolt out in a hurry if a weasel or some other uh, enemy came after it. You see, rabbits have very little uh, defensive weapon. They, they have their ears, their long ears, to catch the sound of the approach of an enemy, and then their sturdy legs that uh, give them the speed uh, with which to escape. From uh, way back, uh, rabbits have been uh, domesticated for uh, various reasons. First, because they make very uh, fine pets. Second, because of their value for food and for their pelts, for the fur. The fur takes a, a dye very uh, easily and holds it well so that they can use the fur of uh, rabbits to imitate the fur of many other more expensive animals, to put it that way. So, in this country and abroad, I would rather uh, think more in Europe than in this country, there is a great uh, trade in uh, domesticated rabbits. For the three purposes that I mentioned, that is for fun and for the fur you get from them and also for food. And here we have some of the domesticated rabbits. You will notice that they're considerably larger than the uh, wild uh, cottontail. They are vegetarians, of course, and here the young lady is gathering a meal for them. I know my rabbits used to like clover in particular, but let's see what this uh, lady is giving them. Oh, that's a dandelion salad, I can see that. Well, that's a little tart, but it's good food too. Oh, this is a fine black and white rabbit. The, uh, the best black and white variety, I think, was originated in uh, Belgium long ago, but now you can get the various black and whites uh, wherever you uh, look for them. This is a king rabbit, good size one, and a fine black rabbit with nice white. This is a, a gray rabbit, sometimes called a gray squirrel rabbit. is a silver rabbit. There are many other varieties, of course.
those young on the right, uh, you'll notice a very dark, that's their mother, uh, but the young will lighten up as they grow older and get the same color pelt as the mother. Here's one of the favorite uh, breeds and one of the most picturesque. That's the old-fashioned lop ear. Called lop ear because his ears flop down. <laughs> the older they grow, the more floppy they grow. Now, doesn't that middle one, uh, and, and its companions, don't they look like a sad bloodhounds? It's a sad, sad world. kind is called the uh, blue Viennese. Oh, you can get them in all uh, sizes and colors. Just shop around. And this is a white Viennese. And uh, she is preparing uh, a nest for herself, expecting to produce a family. I said that uh, rabbits uh, uh, are raised for food and fur and for fun and uh, it's profitable to raise them because they breed so rapidly. As a matter of fact, there's the story of the little girl who had an arithmetic lesson to do and she had her pet rabbit on the table and she was tapping the rabbit and when her mother asked uh, what she was doing, she said she wanted her rabbit to do the uh, arithmetic problem because she heard they multiplied so rapidly. Well, they do multiply rapidly. They have uh, four or five uh, br uh, broods in a year, and a brood may consist of anywhere from three to eight or more young ones. Well, you can figure that out. And in the uh, interim, the mother has produced her brood, and it is hidden away in the straw there. But we'll have a peek. they are. They don't look much like rabbits, do they? They're naked and blind, not a hair on their heads or anywhere else on their bodies. Of course, they're not really blind. I mean, they are born with their eyes closed. It takes some days before the eyes of the young rabbits are open to the world at large. Well, of course, we covered over the entrance to the nest, uh, as the mother did, but she didn't fool us, and I don't think we'll fool her. There are the young ones, of course, they've grown a little bit. They've got some hair on them now. Of course, uh, rabbits are mammals, and the young get the milk from their mother just the way a calf gets the milk from its uh, mother, the cow. Here they are at the breakfast table, uh, and the luncheon and dinner table, too, and also the snack bar, <laughs> and hard at it. Now they're beginning to look uh, more like the conventional uh, uh, bunny that we see in the pet shops. And now they're about three weeks old and uh, really look like uh, bunnies or young rabbits. So whether they are raised for food, for fur, or for fun, rabbits are very easy to handle and profitable in many cases. You see, the, uh, not only is the fur useful for uh, imitating other fur because it takes a dye and holds it, but it's also used uh, to produce felt hats in great quantities. I think there's a cute pair right here. I'll take them. <laughs> 